Let's Talk Fans. We are going to be talking about immediate skin cross match compatibility today. I will tell you which blood type to use when your patient's blood type is A, B, AB, or O. For when you are selecting red blood cells, plasma, platelet, and cryo products. Without further ado, let's get into it. Let's talk a bit about immediate spin cross match compatibility. What is an immediate spin cross match? It is just the name implied. You will combine patient plasma and the red cells from donor, then spin it down to read the agglutination right away without waiting for room temp or 37 incubations. Immediate spin cross match compatibility is used to detect ABO incompatibility. The main object of this test is to determine whether the patient's serums contain A, B antibodies capable of reacting with the donor cells when transfused. Occasionally, immediate spins can also detect RULO and co-antibodies. Let me give you a compatibility table for each product type. Remember this table and you won't have a problem selecting which blood types you can give to your patients. This table is good to know whether you are CLSs, nurses, or doctors. You may be the saving hand, the one who catch what others have missed and protect the patients. ABO incompatibility transfusions could lead to death within minutes. Some key points that I like to mention are the following. 1. Group ORBC negative is a universal donor. Do not just remember O is a universal donor. You do not want to give O plasma to a non-O patient because the plasma of O patients contain anti-A and anti-B. Second, AB is a universal plasma donor. It is because there's no anti-A or anti-B in AB plasma donors. Third, platelet and cryo could be tricky. In older textbooks and some hospital, type-specific plasma compatibility is the practice. Procedures for immediate spin cross match. What are the steps? Step 1. First things before you do anything, double check the patient's ID, which include patient names, medical record number, date of birth, etc. Make sure that what you have in hand is the patient you intend to do the cross match for. Step 2. Check patient historical blood type. What do I mean by that? You check in your system to see if the patient has been previously typed. If so, then make sure that the patient's current blood type is the same as the historical ones. It has happened to me before where the patient historical blood type and the current blood type doesn't match. It's a long story how it gets there. I won't get into it today. For today's purposes, we will go with the patient's current blood type match the historical ones. Step 3. Check patient's special needs. Some patients need irradiated blood products, while your other may need antigen negative or CMV negative. It is important to check for those specific requirements because the patients could have an adverse reaction to the product even if the correct blood type was given. Step 4. Make 2-5% donor red blood cell suspensions. The 2 to 5% donor red blood cell suspensions can be made by placing one drop of 0.9 saline into a label tube and adding enough cells into it to make 2 to 5% cell suspensions. Step 5. Perform immediate spin cross match. Place two drops of patient plasma in a label tube. Add one drop of 2 to 5% donor red blood cell suspensions. Mix well and centrifuge for 15 to 20 seconds. Step 6. Exam for macroscopic agglutinations or hemolyze and record the results. Negative is when there is no agglutination observed. Positive is when there is degrees of agglutination observed. And please note that hemolysis is a sign of incompatibility. This is why hemolyte samples is not the best sample for blood bank. Thank you for staying with me until the end. What do you want to know next? Do you want to know more about blood bank, chemistry, or microbiology? If you have any burning questions, please feel free to leave me a comment down below. Lastly, if you have not done so, please like, share, subscribe, and click that notification bell. I will see you in the next episode of Blood Talks. And as always, remember, 
Your blood tells you the story of your health. Thanks for watching. Bye.